After dazzling in three ensembles the day before, the Duchess of Sussex stepped out shortly after 9.30 a.m. on Wednesday in yet another sophisticated number to commence her first full day in Ireland. Meghan was joined by Prince Harry as they started their jam-packed schedule of their first official overseas visit as a married couple, which started with meeting Irish President, Michael D. Higgins, his wife, Sabina, and their two Bernese Mountain Dogs in Aras, Dublin. For the occasion, Meghan donned a chic stone grey dress, which featured her signature boatneck neckline, a silhouette which she has continued to sport since her wedding day. The tight-fitting dress, designed by French fashion designer Roland Moret, also boasted a feminine ruffle cascading down the side. Moret is a personal friend of Meghan's and was a front-runner as one of the rumored royal wedding dress designers. Although he didn't design the historic bridal gown, in the end the historic item was created by Claire Waite Keller, artistic director of Givenchy, the 36-year-old did wear one of Moritz's designs, almost identical to the one she wore on her Irish visit, on the eve of her wedding as she arrived at Cliveden House with her mum, Doria Ragland. On Wednesday, however, the Duchess finished the look with a large handbag by Fendi and matching pointed court shoes as well as pair of diamond $12,000 statement earrings by Canadian brand Burks. The Duchess also favored her signature bun, a hairstyle which has become her go-to. With a busy day of engagements ahead of them as the couple soak up Ireland's culture and heritage, this is just be the start of Meghan's Irish wardrobe.